Welcome back to Crafting Change. I'm Tiffany Herbert, Founder and Executive Director. Today we're going to be working on a single layer unisex scrub cap. Let's get started. This pattern was developed for my husband, Dr. Kent Herbert, and the amazing emergency room nurses he works with in rural Iowa. I based this pattern off of the traditional papery surgeon's scrub cap and it has been a hit at hospitals across the country. All right, here's what you're going to need for this unisex scrub cap pattern. Be sure to print out our PDF template. Link is down below in the description. You do need to put the template for the brim on a fold. So you're going to need a 12 inch by 24 inch piece of fabric folded in half so you can cut the brim on the fold. When you choose your fabrics, think about who you're creating for. Some people like nice, fun novelty prints. Some just want something a little more plain. Make sure you use something for a cross-section of people if you're sewing for a medical facility. And if you're sewing for our tribal partners, please pay attention to our culture sensitivity document that has been provided by Sewing for Native Nations. You're going to need something to cut out your pattern with, trace your pattern with, sewing clips and you're going to need 42 inches of double fold bias tape. This is a 3D copy of the template and I will link the Etsy shop below. This piece needs to be cut on the fold as the template says. And I love using these 3D templates because you can fussy cut and see what you're going to get. To find the center of each of these pieces, this one is easy because it's the fold. So for this piece, you just fold it in half. So you can see the crease right there. And I'm going to mark it right there like that. Now you're going to take the brim piece, open it up, and you're going to put the center of this to the center of that piece. Clip it. And now you're going to take this and clip it all the way around to here, and then take this and clip it all the way around to here, kind of easing around the corners. This pattern was designed to be easily done with a serger. If you don't have a serger, you need to finish off this raw inside seam in another way. I'm gonna link some videos here to help you do that, but please don't just leave this edge raw. You're going to take this over to your serger and you are going to serge this together. So we have gotten our top and our brim together. Now, this next step is optional, but if you want to do it, this is the easiest time to do it. I'm going to top stitch right here. Okay, again, remember this is an optional step if you want to add that top stitch. So, what you're going to do is you're going to press the serge this way towards the brim and you'll see me continually checking it and pressing it as I go. And you can do it when you're all done but it is a lot easier to do it right here now. the back of the pattern it kind of goes up here and then it goes down and up here and goes down and just cut it so it's just even with the back before we move on I like this side I barely had anything okay after you've cleaned up this back here before we do anything to it you have to add a pleat to the back of the skull part of the cap and this is very, very important. If you don't do this, the caps are not going to fit very well. So right here in the center back, you can measure center if you want to. Find the center. You don't, you don't have to. I'm never really that precise. Again, remember, we're not making a prom dress. We're making a scrub cap. So there's the center. And you're just going to take about, you just want about a half inch fold. So if I were to measure that, that's about a half inch would be about an inch and a half of fabric. You, you need that and it gives it a little pleat there. It's exactly what we want it to look like. And that helps taper this to the back of their head. I'm just going to serge all the way across the back here. Okay, if you don't have a serger, what you're going to do is you're going to just sew right here and pin the pleat down. And then you can 
put bias tape across the back to finish this seam off, or you can do a double fold so there's no raw seams here. And then you could sew that down. And so now if you had a serger, what we're going to do now is we are going to fold under the width of your serge. We are almost done. So line up the back edges of your cap and then pull the front edge tight and find the center like that. You need 42 inches of double fold bias tape. I love Mandala Crafts bias tape on the big huge rolls. You can get all kinds of amazing fun colors. This is just the last of a row and then find the middle. Match up the middle with the middle. What you're going to do is attach it. And I only attach my leading edge. So you're just putting the cap in between the two folds of bias tape, like that. Yes, I know these don't fray, but I do like to fold in and have a finished edge. So I open it up. And I fold in the end like that on both ends. And you want to reinforce here at the back of the cap. So this is a stress point. And then just continue to go around. Easy. Whether you made our single layer cap or our reversible cap, they're both going to be loved and appreciated by the frontline worker in your life. So come and craft some change with us and go from crafter to a craftivist. Happy crafting!